I'm pretty sure that slopers are one of the most disliked climbing holds, but I've got no statistics to back that up. They're just so hard to hold on to. You have to get onto them and just hold on for dear life. But yeah, this first climb does feature a few slopers. I'm putting on this right heel hook so I can cross over with my right hand to this sloper and matching was terrible because I'm trying to get under it. There we go, managed to um, get the foot position right. And then I figured out that having that left foot kind of makes it easier to just stand up and grab onto this next hold but swinging out and letting that left foot go is really really bad and yeah really hard to just control that swing so trying again swinging over to flag out left to bring my right hand up so i can put on this heel and then cross over and then trying to match this next hold get the feet under me so i can Try to stand up, there we go. But that left that left one still popped. I'm trying to still um, keep it on so it's nice and controlled so I don't swing out so I can stay under the sloper. There we go, managed to get nice and controlled there. Managed to match it. And then moving on to the next hold. I did a bit of a toe hook with my left foot, but I kind of toe hooked a bit too far, so it kind of held me back. And then, but these, that next move, I just felt so insecure. Like, it was just so difficult trying to hold on. Trying from the start again. But for some reason, this swinging out move with to grab it with my right foot felt horrible. Like, I couldn't grab with my left hand anymore i couldn't hold on properly with my left hand which was really really weird like i was just doing it a few minutes ago but then trying to bring my legs across just wasn't working for some reason yeah i just got so confused and i'm looking at my left hand like am i not pinching it right for so or something did something change but trying to get my feet across I tried to do the kind of foot swap technique instead of swinging out but nope did not work so I just decided to take a break from that and try something else trying this uh, like kind of high tension at the start very especially with this hold it's also another kind of slurpy hold where you really have to keep tension and kind of push down and then yeah, I managed to get tension with the left hand, left foot, but then I couldn't um, keep tension with my hands after reaching out left on that big hold. And what I realized here was that if my right hand is in front of my face, I can't really, there's not really that much leverage. So I realized, okay, I need to put my right hand further um, out, further right. So yeah, putting on the seal hook to start getting this right hand, putting the feet on, and this is the difficult bit, really high tension, trying to squeeze, keep the feet on, the hands on, managed to get that left foot, move the right hand a bit, right a bit, so I could get that left, and then this next hold to jug. There we go, managed to keep the, pif keep the feet, just needed to match this hold, and come out left to this one. This next move is really, really weird, kind of you're pushing yourself out yeah with that left uh, left arm and then grabbing that with the right and stupid of me i thought this was the last hold but it's actually that bottom i needed to go right more i need to go bottom right i probably should have <laughs> read the route modern i just decided okay let me match this hold even though there's no tag on it and then let me top out just in case but no there were like two more moves that I needed to do. So with the thought that I completed that, I went back to this orange climb. And yeah, for some reason I managed to get it. I don't know what was happening last time, but yeah, put on this heel so I can cross over, getting the feet, feet on to match, and then putting that left foot down. And trying again just to control this next move. And yeah, managed to do it, but for some reason trying to match was felt really, really hard trying one more time or trying again managed to get that swinging cross to get that right hand putting on that heel to cross over done this 
a lot of times now, but for some reason I messed up that heel hook, which wasn't great because just spending that much more energy, yeah, not the most ideal. And that left foot popped out, swung out too much, which means that I'm not under the hold with that left hand. And what I realized was that I was going left hand because it felt easier than going right hand. But I realized that once I have my left foot down, because I wasn't doing that last time, which made the left hand easier. But since I have that left foot down now, I realized that going for the right hand would be way, way easier. And it was. And I could just toe hook the underside with my left and then match it. And then moving across to these next slopers, foot slipped there but I managed to hold on I am so I was feeling so desperate I just really wanted to finish this climb and then yeah there we go managed to match the final hold managed to complete the climb so yeah thankfully I actually completed properly com completed a climb this session moving on to uh, another section of the gym where it's a bit taller but still pretty decent moves this first move felt pretty rough because my left, my shoes are pretty polished. So it felt really slippery and but managed to get it. Just move the feet across. Now this was difficult. I realized I needed to bring my left foot further across so I could bring my right hand over. And then this next move, it looked like a jug, but it just felt really awkward moving from that position. And yeah, I do have a habit of starting the climb from one move in instead of just starting from the start. But yeah, probably a waste of energy. I probably if like if I did this move, I could probably just do the rest of the climb. So yeah, that move wasn't too bad. Just needed to bring that left foot um, down instead of having it keeping it across. And here I realized I needed to do a drop knee with my left foot left yeah left leg to make sure my uh, hips stay close to the wall without it banging my knee and here doing a cheeky heel hook with the right foot to go up with this right hand and yeah the rest is pretty pretty standard pretty nice big holds and so yeah i did it from like one move in probably should have done it from the start but yeah and now <laughs> again the star is what was messing me up i just kind of helicoptered here and I saw a much better climber than me do a toe hook on that hold on the other side of the volume which just looked so so stable but I just kind of brute forced my way through it just put that leg on <laughs> and trying to reach out with that left hand trying again managed to get that first move just move the feet across move that left foot across one more so I can reach up and over there we go then i'm gonna bring that left foot back down and but this still felt really really weird and what i after looking at that footage back again and comparing it with the last time i did it it was because i had my like the sole of my foot too flat too flat on that hold so i couldn't really push up off of it so here it's still pretty flat on the hold but it's a bit more on the ball of my foot so i can kind of better like uh, stand up on it and yeah reach up to that next hold there we go matching this jug making sure to drop knee to grab this left side pull there we go kind of a pinch just putting on a nice heel on that left foot and also another heel on that right to reach up for this right hand there we go then straight away putting that right foot up to flag switching feet and matching this hole so yeah managed to do two proper climbs and then i messed up another climb which hey i'm gonna take it anyway so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video peace